Here today with Lions senior linebacker Danny Mason, and we're going to look back now the, the football season behind us now, and um, you know the postseason accolades coming out. You Lone Star Conference linebacker of the year, um, great cap to a great season. When when you found out that that you'd been honored by by the league as a linebacker of the year, you know what what were the thoughts that went through your mind? Um, my first thought was just thank God, you know, what I'm saying hard work paid off during the summertime, going into the season, and just staying in, 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 in the zone of just my senior year. And um, some other thoughts were, man, I'm going to miss it. I'm going to miss it. It's just really just putting in perspective of college football is over for me. So, I mean, no regrets. Just thank God. And I made every, I feel like I made every day count this past season. You look at, you know, kind of the record book that's here at A&M Commerce, the number of players that – you're one of only eight linebackers in program history. Be a two-time yeah. first-team all-conference. I mean, Corey Whitfield, Danny Kirk, some of those names. You know, what does that for you, mean to you to have your name among that list, the all-time greats? Uh, just an, uh, a big accomplishment. Just being mentioned with those guys is just is just something like I don't know a great feeling to have. Just being mentioned amongst those guys and just showing great respect to them that I can continue to carry the tradition and hopefully a guy younger than me will pick it up and carry the torch. Coming off the season that you did, you know, obviously the team didn't hit the expectations that it hoped for, but you personally, career best in tackles, career right. best in sacks, right. career best in tackles for loss, especially when you consider just how deep this conference was this year. You know, how does that make you feel knowing that you were able to accomplish that against such a tough conference? I think I had a lot of help along the way with people don't know as far as Coach Williams, my defensive coordinator and my linebacker coach and also my teammates that uh, corralled behind me and just stayed in my area as far as knowing what I want to accomplish this season and um, God, you know what I'm saying, prayed up and my family just having my back and just staying focused for the most part and I'm just, once again, it goes back to just hard work and just staying in the zone, just staying focused. So, As you look back on this season, is there is there a moment or a game or a play that stands out most in your mind? There's a lot of you know that your senior year, you just try to just keep every, capture every moment. And uh, I'll probably say the Cowboys Stadium game where Derek Davis, <laughs> when he was down and he got up and kept running, and that's just a prime example of just fin playing to the whistles blown, I guess. So that was that was kind of funny but cool at the same time that it was on ESPN and stuff like that. What's the future hold for Danny Mason? We've got some you know, some senior bowls coming up and yeah. some combine. So kind of you know what what's in your immediate future for now? Uh, right now, just preparing for March the eighth through the tenth to go up to Akron, Ohio, and um, kick some butt up in the combine and the All Star game, and just really trying to put A and M Commerce on the map and just showing that uh, we do have great athletes down here and great talent. And um, just only time will tell, man. Just just trying to do my part as being well prepared and uh, focus, man. You as somebody who's been here, you know, for four years now, one of the few on this team and say they've been here, played their entire career here at AM Commerce, yeah. how much would that mean to you to be able to go on and represent this school and kind of carry that torch? I mean, just being prepared, like, I feel like these past four years, I have no aggressive about coming here. Like, I'm glad I came here. I, I, a lot of growth has taken place within myself and just being a part of this program. So it means a lot just to be the guy to just carry the torch on to the next level if God blessed me with that opportunity. So, I mean, you just got to be prepared, and I just I feel real great about it.